So what is the difference between a sales process and a sales methodology? Well, this is a question that I was asked yesterday. I was running a sales training class and one of the students asked, you know, what is the difference between the two things? Do I need both? Are they the same thing, just a different name? And the answer is they're actually two very different types of activity. And more importantly, there are two elements that every business or every salesperson should have in place. So they're very clear about what to do, when to do it, and how to do it to guarantee an increase in sales and ultimately top line revenue. Um, now to explain the difference between these two things and give you some examples of what a good frameworks um, or methodology framework looks like or a sales process looks like, I want to go to the whiteboard. Before I do that though, in case you don't know me and this is the first time joining one of my videos, my name is Brian Conway from AchieveSuccess.co.uk. I basically work with businesses, small and large organizations. I've worked with companies like Google and Cisco and Lenovo and Dell and Nokia and some big technology companies, but I also work with a lot of small businesses fundamentally helping people grow their top line. I run a program called Top Line Transformation, which by its name hopefully gives you a clue as to what it does. So what I want to talk about, and I'll go to the whiteboard now, uh, what I want to talk about is the difference between a sales uh, process and a sales uh, methodology. All right. So a sales process is, is fundamentally it's the steps that a customer or prospective customer would take as they engage with you or it's the steps that you would carry out as part of a sales process. You know, engagement. So let's say the first step in your process might be to generate a lead as an example. Okay, so that's the first step in your process. Um, your second step may be once you've got a lead is you want to get that individual onto a, a telephone call with you perhaps. Um, uh, another step may be that you uh, maybe you do a demo you know, of, of what it is that you uh, sell or whatever. And again, just as an example, um, and then fundamentally, you know, maybe uh, you, you, know, you sign the contract. Uh, I'd, hopefully, that would be kind of a, a sales process, a three-step sales process. Your methodology is what you do at each of those steps. So, for example, for uh, lead generation, it may be that you run an ad and, and uh, you do that, let's say, on Facebook, and that drives traffic to a, a landing page, a very specific landing page, where maybe you're giving up away... Uh, I don't know, a white paper or something like that, perhaps, that would be of interest to that person. And in return for giving them that white paper and the value that that, uh, what we often refer to as a lead magnet or funnel bait, um, the, the, in return for that value, they would give you their email address so that, you know, fill in some details here. You might have a little video playing on this page, perhaps selling uh, the benefits of that white paper and that would allow you to generate then an, a, a, you know, a list of emails and that is then your lead generation methodology right step one step two is then to get them onto a call now somebody may not um, want to get on a call straight away so part of your sales um uh, lead generation process is to perhaps have some kind of nurture sequence whereby you send them a series of kind of emails over a number of days or weeks or months or whatever it might be up into that point where they are interested to have a call with you. Now on that call you then need a sales methodology or a sales script you might call it. I provide my clients with something called uh, simple selling. It's a six step sales script that anybody can follow and gives you a formulaic way, a method of consistently engaging with your customers with the objective of driving them to the next step in your sales process. All right. Now, the thing is, if you don't have a sales process at each of these points, how do you know what you want your prospect to do? What action, what CTA as we often call it, the call to action. What is that call to action? What do you want them to do? So you need to have that process defined. It's one of the things I do as part of the Top Line Transformation Program is I work with clients to help them define what are the steps in that sales process and then provide them with the various methodologies that will allow them to optimize each of those steps. So you can have a sales process there and at one point or another the customer is either going to or the prospect is either going to move forward now to the next step, whatever that might be. In this instance I said it was a demo, um, but they may not either. So again you need another method of follow-up whereby perhaps you put them into another sequence of emails, 
over days and weeks or whatever because not everybody's ready to you know to take the next step until they are ready to to do so right? and that would be part of your methodology for nurturing people that you've either had a call with or in the black here on the screen those that you haven't had a call with then you would have do your demo and maybe ultimately you're then trying to drive them forward to a sale but there's a couple of things that may need to happen at that point let's say they say no to uh, going forward well again you'd want to put them into some kind of nurture sequence so you'd have a methodology for following up those individuals who reach that step of the process or if they say yes and they do buy well again the journey and your sales process shouldn't stop there because you now you need to have a way of adding additional dollars you know making additional sales i call this sales stacking but having a way of upselling and cross-selling those individuals so you optimize the value of each of those leads ultimately to your business so the steps are part of the sales process and then what underpins those is various methodologies the methodologies that you apply at each of those steps and the by having a, a process, one of the other things it does, apart from giving you sort of clarity as in you know, what is the next step and what is the close at each point, because a close people often think about as being just closing the deal, you know, signing the order. No, each step of the process here has a close uh, and that, you know, those closes will vary. So from a lead perspective, the next close is to get them on a call, on the call, the close is just to get them to a demo. And when you know what these steps are, you can start to calculate what are the percentage of conversion at each step. And that allows you then to optimize as well. So you can kind of really look at what are you doing at each of those steps? How can you fine tune perhaps the way, the methods that you use at each of those steps to improve your conversion through that sales funnel, as we often call this. And by doing that, you can significantly again improve the value of every lead and every sale that you ultimately make. So I trust that you found that uh, helpful to define the difference between a sales process and a sales methodology. They certainly are two very different things. You need both. And one of the things I do with my clients, as I said, is help them articulate and identify what are those processes and methodologies that they can use to generate you know, different additional sales and revenues and, and grow their top line. Um, so with that said, if you would like to have a free strategy session with me, um, I would show uh, I offer to everybody um, to either talk about your sales process and just get kind of clear on what those steps are, which will help you make more sales, or help you identify some of the methods and approaches that you take at each of those steps. I'm more than happy to do that. There's no catch, although you might be skeptical as why would I offer kind of free consultations. Uh, a number of reasons. It's great networking uh, activity and opportunity for me, um, and uh, it provides a lot of great testimonials for people to improve and tweak their sales processes and start making more sales uh, and some people become clients even though there's no obligation to do so but i'll put a link below this video wherever you're watching it and if you'd like to get on a call with me usually 30 40 minutes we can just kind of chat through where maybe some of the blocks are in, in your sales processes or methods um, and as i get much more uh, c clearer much more crystal clear on what you could do over the next 30 60 or 90 days that will help you generate more sales for you or your business so anyway that's uh, just a free offer that I always put, put out there to anybody who might be interested but think about and look at if nothing else your sales process and do you know what those steps are and at any step there could you be very clear and very specific with regards to what you want your customer to do next and that can make a big difference just in itself with regards to the performance of your business that's it. As I said, my name is Brian Conway. You can find other resources at achieveasuccess.co.uk. And as I said, I'll put a link below to allow you to uh, have a free sales strategy session with me if that uh, would be of use to you. And uh, until I produce another video, uh, you hope you're very successful selling and uh, I wish you all the best and stay safe. I'm Brian Conway. Bye-bye.